There's not many iron sets you can buy in this game for £300 when it comes to a top manufacturer, let alone them being brand new, let alone them being only a year old. I was shocked when I found out what these were being sold for on eBay. Now, Cobra itself generally doesn't do that well in the second-hand market, but this is for all brands, all manufacturers, especially the top end and the particular type of model of iron that they bring out every year. And yes, I did just thin that to 10 foot. <laughs> so let me give you a bit of a backstory how I came across these irons as they're relatively new. It's not something that technically would gain my attention. However, when I found out what price they're being sold for, not only pre-owned, but brand new in the wrapper, I felt like I needed to make this video. Now, big shout out to Daz who got in touch with me as he had a bit of a problem. These are quite unique. These are all an inch shorter than standard, mix match the shafts. He's got loads of other clubs that he asked me to help sell for him. But let's put that to one side because let's talk about auctions in general on eBay. Some clubs are popular, sought after, very much in demand. These clubs aren't, which is great news for you guys that are either starting the game or some of you guys looking for ultra forgiving golf clubs. Because let me tell you, these are almost 60% the value and you can still get them in the wrapper from what they would have originally been on the pro shop floor. Oh, that could be very good if it's the number. Nope, straight out the back. But let's say you don't want Cobra irons. Let's say you want to go with another manufacturer, even though all manufacturers make this particular head style offset, super de-lofted, super forgiving. This is a good tip for you guys as well. If you want something cheap from a top brand manufacturer with all the technology they claim about, you haven't got 900 pounds to spend on a set of irons. Well, keep watching because this happens year after year because of two main factors. And it's not to say all Cobra irons or woods don't do well in the second hand market. One length iron, especially the Forge Tech Cobra irons, do incredibly well. And that's probably down to the fact that not many manufacturers make one length iron. So they've basically got the demand pretty much sewn up when it comes to that type of golf club. Ooh. That would have been nice. Again, when it comes to older models like the Rad Speed or the LTDX one length, again, they do incredibly well, especially the lower lofted clubs such as your four iron or even the one length hybrid, as I've referred to those very much cheat stick in the past. Because for someone like myself that doesn't struggle for distance, but let's be honest, doesn't have full control over that club face when it strikes the ball, I need it to be pointing somewhere towards a target and a shorter length shaft definitely helps me do that, even though that will reduce my club head speed somewhat. Oh, that is an absolute bullet. Especially the fact this is only 36 inches long as well. <laughs> Now, every year, manufacturers, especially Callaway, TaylorMade, Cobra, bring out a new driver with a new brand name slapped on the back of it. Stealth 2, Paradigm, Aerojet, you name it. They also then release a set of irons to go alongside it to appeal to that beginner golfer. Get a Stealth 2 driver, get some Stealth 2 cavity back irons. Then as a retailer or pro shop, a requirement of your pre-book would be to obviously order some of the brand new drivers, Stealth 2, Paradigm, Aerojet, you name it. But then some of those beginner cavity back de-lofted irons that are quite offset to go alongside them on the shelf. You would then be able to fill up the rest of the pre-book with, let's say, some one lengths or wedges or putters. Choose which you think is going to sell best for your members or, let's say, lessons. And that's why we don't see too many one length irons on the market, especially brand new or second hand, because most pre-shop and retailers would just use the fitting one length equipment, then fit someone and then order it off a manufacturer like Cobra to then get it for that particular client. As let's be honest, one length irons 
is somewhat unique. Another reason why the Forge Tech one length irons do so well, apart from obviously the aesthetics, is you couldn't tell which one here is the 2022 version and which one is the 2020 version, meaning that it's a bit more timeless and probably going to be a bit more sought after in the second hand market. That's one of the reasons, for example, why the P790 2016 version, 2018 version, or let's say the Apex range from Callaway does so well, JPX 919s versus the 921, People look at the brand new stuff, go, I can't afford a thousand pounds, but there's a nice looking set in good condition for 500 pounds. Even with that fact, a lot of pro shops and retailers won't pre-book a ton of iron sets because let's be honest, if you get club fitted for 950 pounds worth of irons, you don't want them to be just ushered into the pro shop, get your iron set off the shelf as you, let's be honest, feel like you've been scammed. Another thing we need to know is that most other iron sets, let's be honest, blades or let's say muscle back irons, if you get custom fitted for those, you're probably off six, seven, eight, maybe lower. And if you get fitted for a set of irons, your swing's not gonna change, not that drastically anyway, meaning that set of irons is gonna be great for you for the next four to five years. Oh, I do hit these one lengths quite good, I'm not gonna lie. However, if you're a beginner to this game and just started, you go and get brand new Stealth 2, Stealth 2 iron, it's very unlikely you're gonna outgrow your 10 and a half regular flex degree driver. Potentially just swap out the shaft for a stiff flex. But those cavity back irons that are offset, that you only hit 150 yards and they went 30 yards further than your granddad's hand-me-downs, all of a sudden going 170. And now you're hooking them because they are offset because you've had a couple of lessons, which then means a combination of all the above. Those golfers that got feared at the start of the year want to then sell their cavity back irons as they've outgrown them. The suppliers want to get rid of the shelf of stuff that's on there. And let's be honest, now it looks old hat. Now the newer stuff is then coming in their new pre-book. And because every pro shop and retailer has got thousands of these sets, there's a good amount of supply and not really that much demand. I was shocked when I found out what these were being sold for on eBay and not only pre-owned, I'm talking brand new, still in the wrapper, which again is a sign of retailers needing to get extra shelf space, get some of their money back. And the fact you can pick this set up, as I'll show you now, five to pitch and wedge, five to gap wedge for 300 pounds. Bearing in mind, these would have been more close to 100 pound a stick when they came out. So 800 pounds, 900 pounds, somewhere around that mark. And for some of the same reasons, as I stated to you at the start, if you're looking at this iron set, you're just starting, your swing's gonna change 15 times over the course of three months. Therefore, a club fit doesn't make a huge amount of sense at this point. 300 pounds for a super forgiving set of irons that, let's be honest, only came out a year ago and was the latest and greatest, all singing, all dancing. For me, just seems like good value. Now we've all seen a package set, especially the Costco ones, 549, 499, 600 pounds, something around that area and again to be fair they hold their value quite well as well in the second hand market and the main bulk of that price for that package set is the set of irons package set irons roughly go for around 200 pounds 250 pounds i think you're starting to see where i'm going with this my point is is that if you had to choose between a package set of irons and these, it's a no-brainer. There's just more research, there's more development. They still have to make margin on that 549, whereas this is trade value. This is as low as it gets. You will get the most out of these if you've just started the game or you're just looking for ultimate distance to offset that slice you have. Not to mention you will get a slight bit of choice in terms of the second-hand market due to the fact you can find a set with stiff flex shafts, reg flex shafts, normal size grips, you name it, which the package sets just won't give you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, you might like to check out Brooks Kepka's bag on the right hand side as again it has some pretty underrated irons in the bottom of it.